to Deep Friday. On today's episode, we got some mob pizza, bitches! It's, uh, it's like fast casual pizza joints. You get a personal sized pizza, and they make it right in front of your face, and it only takes a couple minutes. So, mods is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we have three varieties for you today on Deep Friday. We have the Mad Dog, which is pepperoni, sausage, and beef. We also have the, uh, 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 what is it called? The Cal Calamexi? Calexico? That's what it is, Calexico. <laughs> and then finally, we have the, uh, the other one. What the <laughs> fuck? Is that goddamn barbecue? Barbecue chicken pizza. Fuck pizza. you and your barbecue sauce. What's wrong with barbecue chicken pizza? Because okay, barbecue sauce is just it's it's too much. It's too much. It's you know, there's never anything that is going to keep up with barbecue sauce. These have been refrigerated, right? Uh, so yes. that we can better deep fry them. Now I'm well, beginning to on. see an issue. Yeah, I see an issue too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a tissue? That works out much better. We're using tools so it doesn't have to drip through your fingers, but... Yeah, we're different. civilized now, Lofi. Mm-hmm. We've it, learned from your mistakes. My mistakes? You mean my triumphs? <laughs> Thank you! Woo! Woo! Yay! Oh my god! It, that's so good! Check out that funnel cake. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, <coughs> fuck, ooh. Fuck. Pizza number one. <laughs> Yay. Fly away. <laughs> there we go. Wait for it. Oh god, it's right now. It's because it's ripping apart. Oh god, no! Ah! And it goes. Yay! Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> hmm. Six hours later, it will regurgitate the carcass. It's number two, coming out. Coming out the window. It looks like a good fry job, sir. Our final saw, the barbecue chicken. Mm. This one's gonna be interesting because that sauce, still nice and moist and wet. I don't know how it's gonna react with the batter. Eee! And front. Yay! Well then. Barbecue sauce. But bu barbecue sauce. Make you wanna slap your mama. <laughs> our pizza's ready. We got our pizza shears. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead, snip us some pizza. Um, the batter did get a little soft, which I'm sad about. But it, it normally does with, with items like this, so. <laughs> I can't tell if it's, is it the batter? The batter has like a certain chewiness to it. That's really nice. It's almost like a different bread on top of the pizza dough that's already nice and chewy. I am, god damn. The flavor of the toppings is so good. Mixed in with that. The floppiness of the pizza is... <laughs> <laughs> like worrisome and pleasing at the same time. Let's see how it uh, it tastes. Mm. It's like a flat quesadilla calzone of a pizza, <laughs> and it's delightful. I love it. The batter, along with the chewy crust of this, is just whimsical. It's not like a pizza that you've ever encountered before. But I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this first time meetup with my new friend here. Mm. 
and I think the real test here is if there is batter and crust on a pizza, does it become too bready? And the answer here is absolutely not. The crust along with the breading makes it even more of a pleasant experience. There is a little bit of an oiliness factor going on here, but if that's what it takes to get me here, sign me up. <laughs> mm, this is the um, Calamexi. Mm. The toppings on this are amazing. And they bleed through into the batter extremely nicely. When you can eat it a little bit fresher out of the fryer, have that crunch. Mm. God damn, that's good too. Good God. I think it's the thickness of the pizza itself and the amount of toppings, the ratios. Must be the ratios. The ratio. The ratio of this kind of pizza is so good that it, it's perfect for deep frying. Let's try a bite of this. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, changing the toppings really makes this a different experience. Wow. I'm really blown away by this. The combination of the toppings on this flat pizza crust is maybe wanting for a deep fry batter because I had the pieces of pizza before I tried them deep fried and I wasn't like blown away, but now I'm kind of blown away by this. I do like this a lot. And the change in toppings really helps make it a really distinctly different pizza. Oh. <laughs> this is the most recent out of the fryer. Mm -hmm. It's a delicious pizza with just the right amount of toppings. The batter stayed a little bit crunchier, so it's even better. But it still has that nice chew to it. It's really good. I think this is how you have to do pizza crunch. Don't get those big, thick-ass slices of Pizza Hut or Domino's. While those are still good, it's these little, thin, personal pan pizza things that are just... Fucking amazing. I love it. I could eat all of this if I hadn't already eaten five pounds of nachos. <laughs> Goddamn, it's delicious. You should try it yourself. Get you some mod pizza, tempura that shit up, and fucking fry it. Eat it. <laughs> eat it all. Let's try the barbecue. The devil pizza. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to hate this pizza. Because barbecue sauce itself is just overpowering. You know, they never get the ratio right on a pizza. Because it's got to contend with the mozzarella and the chicken and bacon or whatever else they put on top of that pizza. But here, it gets covered in another lovely coat of batter. And it tastes more kind of like a hombau or something like that. Except a little bit sweeter and tastier. Like the carb ratio is better than like a bunch of steamed bun around a little bit of uh, barbecue pork. Oh, I thought Pink was just giving out stars all willy nilly again. But no, this deserves at least a star. This is a new kind of food and I'm very tickled by it. This is great. And I'm excited to try anything else uh, from Mod Pizza that would be deep fried. That would be great. It'd be a fun little Friday. <clears throat> a deep Friday. Thank you so much for joining us on this deep Friday. We deep fried mod pizza. Would you like to see something else deep fried? Please leave it in the comments below. We'll run it over and see if it's a good contender. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on all of our social media platforms. Check me out over on twitch.tv forward slash Wolfie Molasses. And check out our merch shop where you can buy all kinds of great swank. 
for those belated Christmas gifts. I don't know how late this is. This video is coming out. <laughs> so happy new year and merry belated Christmas, everybody. Bye. -bye.